What's that? You do Tinder? Yeah. Is it horrifying? Yeah. But I've met a few, you know, out of every like 100, there's one good one. So, I was chatting with this guy on Tinder. We set up a date. And then he texted me and said, Do you mind if I bring my film crew on our date? And um, I said, Sure, why not? So, what he doesn't know is that I'm bringing my own film as well. So, we're going to surprise him. Ready? I don't even know what to say. That was weird. What I consider the worst Tinder date is when it's like fucking boring. Like when the guy just like drones on about his boring job and he doesn't ask you anything about yourself. And you just have to listen to this like boring monologue of this guy trying to impress you. Really, all women want is for the guy to be interested in them. This guy asked you about yourself? Yeah, he asked me a lot of questions, which was good. I mean, he, he talked about himself a lot too, but I kept asking him questions because I was so curious about, I was trying to figure out what his deal was. And I kept asking him, like I asked him directly, is this a persona? Are you in character? Like, are you full of shit? I, I and he never came back with like a straight answer. Maybe that's really him. He's like a kind of a weird guy. I told him he had a flat affect. Which he did. Oh, I, I get it. Well, flat affect is a symptom, yeah. That's usually a symptom of uh, psychosis, actually. Like he didn't really laugh or smile that much. I mean, like I asked him a question, he answered like very like matter of fact, like uh, like Spock. I don't like Spock. Yeah, like a Vulcan. I asked him if he was a genius, and he had some like convoluted long answer to that. So uh, like he didn't say no. Was this the worst Tinder date you've been on, or the best, or what? No, no, like it was interesting, so because of that, it was good. Nice to meet you. Have a good night. It's kind of intriguing. Sure. Okay. Have a good night.